The rift between Harry and the rest of the royals has deepened, according to royal commentator Beatrice Verhoeven. Now that Nacho Figueres has taken Meghan's side in the feud, it's going to be much harder for him to play the role of mediator. This is a real blow to Harry's public image and could make it even harder for him to win back the trust of the British people. The fallout from this royal rift seems to extend far beyond the personal relationships involved. With Figueres' defection, Harry has lost not just a close friend, but a powerful ally in the ongoing PR war between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family. This could have serious consequences for the Duke's already precarious standing within the institution. As one insider put it, Nacho was Harry's secret weapon, someone who could vouch for him and defend his actions when the family couldn't or wouldn't. Now that he's turned his back, Harry is more isolated and vulnerable than ever. Only time will tell how this latest drama will play out, but one thing is certain, the once unbreakable bromance between Nacho Figueres and Prince Harry has come to a bitter and seemingly irreparable end. And for the Duke of Sussex, the fallout could be truly devastating. The bromance is over. Nacho Figueres cuts ties with Prince Harry over a Meghan Markle feud. It was the bromance that captivated the world, the Argentine polo player and the rebellious royal, united by a shared passion for the sport and a disdain for the constraints of palace life. But now, it seems the fairy tale friendship between Nacho Figaris and Prince Harry has come to a bitter end. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for updates. In a shocking move that has left royal fans reeling, Figaris has reportedly blocked Harry's phone number and deleted his contact information altogether. At the root of this royal falling out? None other than Meghan Markle herself. The drama first unfolded earlier this month when Figaris took to social media to promote Meghan's new line of vegan coffee products, just days before Kate Middleton's highly anticipated return to the Trooping the Color Parade. The timing of Figari's PR blitz, which many saw as a calculated attempt to steal the spotlight from the Duchess of Cambridge, did not sit well with staunch royalists. It was a total slap in the face to the royal family, fumed one disgruntled fan on Twitter. Nacho should have known better than to try and upstage Kate's big day. Meghan is clearly trying to stay relevant by using her friends to promote her products, and Nacho fell right into her trap. Nacho and Harry have always been so close. It's sad to see them at odds like this, but Megan is clearly the root cause, another added. She's driving a wedge between Harry and his loved ones, just like she did with his family. When will these two learn that the world won't tolerate their constant attention-seeking? It's a sentiment that seems to have struck a chord with Figaris himself, whose sources say has now made the decisive move to cut ties with the Duke of Sussex entirely. According to an insider close to the polo player, Figaris was mortified by the backlash he faced over the coffee plug and felt he had to distance himself from Harry to preserve his own reputation. Nacho is really stressed out about the whole situation, the source revealed. He never meant to upset anyone, he was just trying to support his friend Megan, but the reaction was so vicious that he felt he had to take action. He's deleted Harry's number and blocked all his calls. He's done with the drama. The falling out marks a dramatic shift in the once unbreakable bond between Figaris and the Duke. The pair first met in 2007 when Harry made a surprise appearance at the View of Clickwhat Classic in New York, where Figaris was competing.